Welcome back to the Tipsy Ghosts. We're your tipsy hosts, Sarah, Sarah, and Lindsay. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi. I feel like I have to play referee tonight because Sarah is very upset with Lindsay right now. I am. You want to talk about it? Do I want to talk about why I'm upset? Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm kind of halfway upset because she got to go see Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> She was actually part of the cast. <laughs> I was. I performed all night last she night. She was I'm Alexander here. Hamilton. She was the lead singer. She I was Lynn Manuel. Did great. I'm Thank sure you. she is very good at rapping. If my voice is a little hoarse, that's why. <laughs> I heard you were a great performer. I was great on stage. I was. I got a standing ovation. <laughs> did you do sure an encore? Did. No, there was no encore. Yeah. Is it hard to remember all those lyrics? There's. All, it's very wordy. Listen, my brain just knows. You just memorized it. It just knows. Yeah. Yeah. I got it all. Well, I'm halfway jealous because I've seen it once. My dancing skills have improved I very much. I didn't see you, though, in oh, it. Oh, sorry. Perform. So I'm just going to have to use my imagination. So you saw a worse version. I saw a worse version, yeah. <laughs> just like some Broadway cast. I don't know. Lame. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't hold local auditions for people who just wanted to oh, try no, I, out. I flew to New York City. <laughs> oh, audition. Oh, okay. I forgot to tell you. My bad. I should have known. Do, does Broadway know? We've got the star <laughs> of the show right here in the middle of the United States. Listen. I had no idea. I'm the first female Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> you get to wear the low colonial po- pony. Yes. Oh. And the breeches. Colony. Colony. I knew there was something there. <laughs> I tripped up on the words. So I did go see Alexander Hamilton last did night, you say which breeches? is just Hamilton. Breeches. Breeches. <laughs> <laughs> the breeches are breeches? Hold on. Little funny pants. I believe they're breeches. Bridges. Pantaloons. Pantaloons. Mm-hmm. It was lovely and I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> Sorry. Boydson, you're not on, on the gram. So let me show you the picture I got of me and my husband before. Okay. Look at how happy he is. He looks thrilled. <laughs> he looks so happy. Poor guy. And I Did said, it... can we take another picture where you're smiling? He goes, this is what you get. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe he should have stayed home. Oh, I didn't want to go by myself. Uh, he bought okay. me tickets and that was... <laughs> I would have gone happily. <laughs> Her uh, only option was him. It would have been George Washington. <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> who, who can I be? Here comes a general. <laughs> you can be Eliza. Yes. Okay. We can be Mary and Penny. We could all three the. I would love to marry you. The Skyler you. sisters. That's who we can be. Yes. Next time they come through, we'll have we'll to practice audition. a little. But I think we can get it. Lindsay's a shoe, and I don't know about you though. <laughs> I know. I know. I got to really be a practice. Great Angelica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> She's pretty sassy. I like her. Um, it was a really great show. It was packed. I'm sure. There's not an empty seat there. And it, they're in Kansas City for 10 days. Not yeah. a single empty seat. Yeah, my neighbor went last night, too. They said they had a great time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked the tickets, but I got Taylor Swift tickets, and that's enough for the next 10 years. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel that. Well, this is the first time I went to Hamilton, because this is the first time it's been affordable. <laughs> That's true. The first time you came through, it was like ridiculous. Yeah. And I know I said I went and I did, but like I was up in the nosebleeds and I went with my mom and my my stepdad, but they were like several rows in front of me because mm-hmm. so I was like an add on late to the game. So I got to sit in the middle of a row in the very back <laughs> Gosh. between a bunch of random people. And then I had like terrible anxiety, of course, because I'm like, oh, what if I have to get up? Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. if there's a fire? What if, the I theater? don't know any of these people. They're probably already thinking like she's going to ruin it by getting up. And she's sitting by nobody. She's a random chick. You look a random shady. chick sitting next to me. And that, the chick, that was me. <laughs> the chick next to her was sobbing through the second half. Oh, okay. Like had a tissue, was blowing her nose, crying. And I was like, is, this, is the second not? half sad? Yeah. Yes. It's but like, also, okay. you probably have seen it yeah. or know of I mean, it. I, it's history. If I would have so. gone, I would not have seen it. She no was spoilers. just like crying, like full on sobbing. And I was like, Girl, okay, honey. Get it together. <laughs> History history is sad. History is very sad. <laughs> sad. But also, it's not new. Spoiler alert. <laughs> they say it in the first act. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alexander Hamilton dies. Maybe Ooh. she was just like overcome with emotion about seeing Hamilton on Broadway. I don't know. Maybe she was. Well, um, so we went to recently the Hamilton Primary School in Otterville, Illinois. This is where I learned to rap. <laughs> it's the and Hamilton School. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint, but this is not... Alexander Hamilton. It's a different Hamilton we're going to talk about. God. Yeah, so not the not the real ha- not well, not he's a real Hamilton, but <laughs> not 
they were both real. real Hamilton. Not He's the not founding a real boy. Hamilton. <laughs> I'm a real boy. He wasn't the founding Hamilton. Got it. But he did. He founded a school. He found a lot of things. Okay. Hamilton Got is it. a common name. <laughs> Apparently. Hamilton Primary School is actually named after a Dr. Silas Hamilton. Dr. Silas Hamilton. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. There you go. She was my understudy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe we can just rewrite the play. <laughs> I would love that. Love it's nothing be more. a one woman show. <laughs> Two. Be great. Two woman show. I'll work your lights. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And the revolving the stage. The stage revolves. <laughs> yes, that is mm, very cool. I've got shoulder problems. <laughs> I don't I'm know sure if I can. a motor. It's not like you have to you like have to crank, crank it. it. There's oh, no one crank it. I thought I had to like physically push and walk. Yeah, yeah you have to stand on the stage <laughs> and push it like a mule. 2023. <laughs> I don't know how things work. <laughs> Just you by yourself down there like. <laughs> sound is down there. <laughs> oh, he. It's you and sound. Bless him. Can I write him? He is just such a good soul. That sound. <laughs> <laughs> He's just down there cranking the wheel. <laughs> Boyson's running it. She's running the show, but sounds the one actually doing the work. Anyway, so <laughs> this Dr. Silas Hamilton was a practicing physician in Vermont before he moved and settled in Mississippi, of all places. Okay. <laughs> Pause for dramatic effect. Mississippi. M I S S I S I P P I. Every time I wrote that, that's what I did. It's I'm so proud of you. Me. Thank you. Are you the one that didn't learn it that way? Yes, we've talked about this before. I did M I crooked letter crooked letter I crooked letter crooked letter I humpback humpback I. Oh my God! The amount of <laughs> words you had to say in that from just. <laughs> Letters is astonishing. I went to school in the South, and that's what they taught me. <laughs> that is some wild stuff. Speaking of the South, um, <laughs> in Mississippi is where he operated. So I didn't give you a trigger warning at the beginning. This story, the background, discusses slavery and different viewpoints on slavery. And so just wanted to throw that out there before I moved on because. In Mississippi is where Dr. Silas Hamilton operated a plantation. But before we write him off, he actually ends up being a decent guy. So hear me out. His intention with his plantation was to try to be a good influence on his neighbors by treating enslaved people in an intelligent and humane way. Okay. Step in the right direction. Which for that period of time is novel. So one day, Dr. Hamilton was going to see his mother in Vermont on horseback, probably sound. Obviously. Sounds grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, I was an elder. <sighs> sound ultrasound. Is, he has been alive for a That's long stink. time. <laughs> I thought he said ultrasound. <laughs> no, his, his name is... <sighs> <laughs> He's been alive for so long. <laughs> he has, but the, this was his ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway, so on... <sighs> he... <laughs> If we're going to think that you guys are just like breathing into the mics really heavily. This is on purpose. That's his name. <laughs> he came upon a young boy. This boy was named George Washington, but it wasn't the president because this is in the 1800s. I'm sure that was obvious, but I just felt like I should clarify. It's not George Washington, the president. It's a boy named George Washington. And... The name George Washington, I don't think was the boy's original name. I believe I heard that he was either given the name as kind of an alternate name to whatever he was given originally, or maybe he picked it out himself. But anyway, little George Washington told Dr. Hamilton that his mother had been sold into slavery and taken down south. So Dr. Hamilton bought little George for $100 and pretty much took him under his wing. So hang in there with me. We come back to that. Anyway, it turns out that the Mississippi neighbors uh, were dicks and didn't follow in his footsteps of mm -hmm, intelligent mm -hmm. and humane treatment of enslaved people. As most of the South did not mm -hmm. at that time. So because of this, Dr. Hamilton was pretty disappointed. And somewhere along the way, his son died. And all of that caused him to move himself and the enslaved people on his plantation to Cincinnati. And this is where, in 1827, so keep in mind, pre-Gettysburg Address, Dr. Silas Hamilton freed 28 enslaved people. And little George Washington and another couple decided to stay with him. So 
maybe he was very, very kind enough that people were like, actually, you're cool. I'd like to stay with you. So he moved with everyone to Golem, Illinois, which is now called Otterville in 1830. It turns out that he was the only physician in the whole county there, and there were also a lot of really sick people. So he was forced out of retirement, but essentially worked himself to death. He died only four years after moving to Otterville in 1834. Beaver town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Otters are not beavers. I know, but I know. that's what he said they called it. They all call it beaver town for fun. Oh, sort of out of <laughs> that is very unfortunate. <laughs> That's all of it is Gollum. Gollum. Go- Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> so when Dr. Hamilton died, he left $4,000, which is almost $140,000 in today's money. It's so much money. It's a lot to strictly go towards the construction of a free and integrated public school. So Love that. I, yes, free, which now gives those who don't come for money the ability to receive an education and integrated, meaning all races and also in this case, all Christian denominations, because that was it was a requirement as well. So they can all attend together. Um, the school was completed the next year and officially became the first free school in Illinois and furthermore, the first free and integrated school in the entire United States. And this was what year? 1835, 36. That is just so progressive. It, it, honestly, it really is. I mean, like 1950s, I, is, we were still in I separate know. schools. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're in the North at the time, but still. Yeah. For it to happen is incredible. So in 1839, the Illinois General Assembly, which now consists of the House of Representatives and the Senate for the state of Illinois, Um, They legally incorporated the school, essentially making it an official school to get an official education. Very official. Lots of officials happening. All the officials. (laughs) And honestly, there's more to it, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, The building, the original building was demolished for whatever reason in 1872, but it was rebuilt using the same stones that very next year. George Washington went on to live with another family for a bit while attending the Hamilton Primary School. So he got to attend the school, and he eventually became a pretty successful farmer. He was also an active member of the church while acting as a janitor and Sunday school teacher to help out. George never married, instead choosing to adopt his community, helping wherever and whenever he was needed. He eventually was the person who dug the graves whenever somebody died, and he did everything for free. When he died in 1864, George also left a sum of money to the community. He left $1,500, which is the equivalent to $29,000 today, to build a monument to Dr. Silas Hamilton and to go towards the education of, quote, colored persons or Americans of African descent. So essentially a scholarship, which if I'm not mistaken, I believe is still active to this day. The marble monument from George dedicated to Dr. Hamilton still stands in front of the school. We got to see it in person. Yes, we we did. Um, Oh, and Dr. Hamilton and George Washington, little George, are buried side by side in the cemetery just down the street from the school. In a crypt. In a crypt. I like that. Um, The school was in use until 1971. The Otter Creek Historical Society took control of the building in 1982. Unfortunately, due to insufficient funding, the school hasn't been able to be really that well maintained. Um, In fact, in 2014, it made the top 10 list for most endangered historic places in Illinois. At least that's what they say, but we've seen some pretty poorly maintained buildings. Looking at you, Belvoir. (laughs) And this one actually looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Agreed. They have done and still do fundraising to go towards the upkeep, and a good part of that comes from tours and investigations. As for the paranormal, according to legend, the school became a stop on the Underground Railroad. Alton, Illinois was a very important crossing point in the route to cross the Mississippi River to get to the north, and Otterville was another stop on the track north. So very closely connected. Alton is like a 30-minute drive from Otterville. Mm Mm-hmm. With the energized history, ties to the Underground Railroad, and decades as a school, the Hamilton Primary School is thought to be haunted. 
There have been reports of seeing mysterious shadows in classrooms, voices, footsteps on the staircase, seeing invisible hands pulling the rope that rings the school bell, and much more. Which I still don't get. How are you going to see invisible hands? Thank you. You just do. That it's was like spirit ears, but spirit eyes. That was my question. Do they have gloves on so you can see them? Yes. They're gloved, invisible hands. Right. So the hands are invisible, but they're wearing gloves, so then you can see it. Maybe they dip their invisible hands in like glow in the dark paint. Just for that moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. But that makes more sense. Who have been there before said that they have heard the bells ringing when mm-hmm. no one else is around. Yeah, which they said it's actually kind of hard to make the bell ring. It takes a lot of force. And we went there. We did. We did. did. I think this um, now qualifies as the furthest place aside from Dallas. Mm-hmm. Well, and conjuring. <laughs> Well, yes. For a drive. Driving. For a driving drive. Yes, yes. That we have driven. Yes, because it's about 30 minutes outside of Alton. Right. Next stop, mm-hmm. California. <laughs> <laughs> We're unstoppable. Well, I take that back. We are stoppable. So this location has, it's actually kind of a small school. And it really only has three sections. The basement, the main level, and the second floor. So we kind of did something different. And we set up one recorder upstairs running the entire time. One recorder downstairs in the basement running the entire time. And then the third recorder we took with us everywhere we went. Do you want to start in the bottom and work our way up or the top and work our way down? Let's go to the basement. Okay. So I got the three-hour recording in the the basement. I put it in. There's two rooms. When you come down from the stairs, there's two rooms to either side in the main area that they call the underground railroad rooms. Um, The idea is that potentially they hid people as they were trying to flee. They're such small rooms. Yes. And so the main basement is like the cafeteria area. Like this is a finished basement, not like the basements we normally see. I mean, it's kind of finished. But the rooms like off where Boydson's talking about, the tiny rooms are not really finished. They're like closets. Yeah. Essentially. They are closets filled with stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. So my recorder was in one of those rooms. I think it must have been right next to the heater, which was yeah. running the entire time. Yeah. Which is fine. I was still able to hear some things. So there were other groups in and out of the room. This was a public investigation we didn't mention. Mm-hmm. Um, so other groups coming in and out, which is fine. It's actually pretty interesting to hear how other people um, investigate investigate, yeah. and if they're doing spirit box or anything that you can hear mm-hmm. even um, REM pods you can hear whenever they're getting anything so it's like yeah. we've got an entire team like a and bonus. They, they don't even know it right so there was a lot of spirit box and initially it was the same male voice coming over and over and I thought after I kept hearing the same voice I was like that's not a spirit box that's like a um, something that just spits out word like the ovulus, ovulus. yeah or even not even phasma, like the ovulus, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but they come up to it closer to the microphone, and you can hear different voices, but the same male voice just keeps coming over and over and over again in response to the questions. A little while later, there's like a small group of people, and one of the guys reports a shadow going across the entire back wall. And to his credit, he kept trying to debunk it. Like every time a car drove by, he looked again to see if... It was a car. Um, he had one of his friends go out and walk in front of the window, and they didn't see anything. He he did try very hard to debunk it, but they, in the end, they couldn't explain this shadow that he saw go across the entire wall. Yeah, because we should say that even though it's in the basement, there are, like, windows Yeah, at mm-hmm. the top. They're pretty small, mm-hmm. but you can still see outside. Right. I did get an EVP of a woman. There's pretty much constant talking. And so it's an EVP over talking. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to isolate it, but it's this woman saying, hey, you. And then I can't really make out the rest. You can tell something else is said. There's conversations going on at the same time. And I can hear the conversation from farther away. But this whispering and this EVP is like right next to the recorder. Hmm. So it sounds different. What I'm saying is I can hear talking, but this is a different kind of talking that I heard. Sure. Then a woman that was down there said that she saw saw a string move that had been still the entire time. And then again, they tried to debunk it. Nothing came of that. I, she saw a string move. I believe that. And we don't know what did it. And then someone brings the spirit box right next to the recorder, which I oh, that's nice. really appreciate. Yeah. Um, it's the same 
box from earlier. It's the same people that were doing the spirit box, but you no longer hear this consistent man's voice. What I did hear though, that came out of the spirit box that I thought was relevant is like a younger adult male voice that says I'm free. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. And then we enter the room. So this is going the whole time we were in there. Mm-hmm. We enter the room and Sarah, we were asking questions. Sarah says, did you have to hide here? It feels like it might've been kind of scary. How many people were hiding in this room? And then you hear kind of this inaudible whisper, just like a faint whisper right next to the recorder. And then a second later, Sarah's like, I think I just heard whispering. <laughs> yep. Spirit she ears did. were on. Spirit yeah. ears again. And then finally, a group came down and said that they got this really weird feeling as soon as they came down the stairs. And then someone mentions that they got the chills and it's like full body chills. Um, just Ooh, all not the sudden, FBCs. Not the FBCs. Wow. And then maybe 10 minutes later... They were trying to do this investigation, and then someone asked if they still felt it, and all of the people were like, no, it really doesn't feel like it was whenever we came downstairs. They thought maybe they scared it off. Maybe. So did you any, did you get anything in the basement? Um, <laughs> well, I had two fairly short recordings from the basement. The first one was an accident. <laughs> Are we surprised? <laughs> Sarah does not know how to work her recorder still. <laughs> well, three it, years later, <laughs> I am offended. <laughs> I do know how I accidentally pushed the record. Okay. And I know that because I was able to stop it and restart it and say, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do a three minute <laughs> recording. <laughs> um, but I too can hear some very faint whisperies ne- next whispers next to the recorder. <laughs> Did you say whisperies? The whisperies. I was going to say whispering. The whispies. <laughs> the whisp. Okay, I too can hear some very faint whispers next to the recorder. Well, I think it just says hey next to it. But it sounds kind of like a kid, like mm. a child spirit. Aw. Yeah. A little bit further in my accidental recording, I can hear somebody whispering while I'm talking and I have no idea what they're saying, but... It was, a, it was a secret. Yeah. It's probably what they're saying. Or just, hey, stop talking. <laughs> Good job we're accidentally tired. recording. <laughs> I know, right? So on my three minute thing, I got two whispers there. Um, I also, when I called it the coal room. So I think we were calling one side the underground railroad room. Mm-hmm. And the other side was the coal room. But it happened to be right under the, the bathroom. And I kept hearing flushing just you constantly. Just heard the water running. It was so loud. It mm-hmm. was like. I guess that makes sense. There's no insulation on the floors or anything. It's just right there. But we did move to the other underground railroad room, which I still cannot pronounce that word. So sorry. If you I'm did not good. Gonna, thank you. I'm trying really hard. Um, Do you need to practice? Underground railroad. Underground railroad. Nailed it. Good job. I did put down that I asked, can you tell us what you see here? And I wrote down that I could hear a low voice response on my recorder. But I did say there were, were people in the other room. So, yeah, you could hear people. Yeah. And Lindsay went out to go look and she didn't come back and say, oh, yeah, they're out there. She said they were gone by then. But I don't know if they, they were like left by walking then. out. I don't know. Sure. But I did hear something. And then I did mark that I uh, called out that I heard whispers in real time. But I couldn't hear it because the heater was on. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you kind of had to acclimate your ears <laughs> yeah. to the heater to hear other things besides the heater. Whenever yeah. I first like the first 20 minutes, I was like, I am not going to hear anything. Yeah. And turns out I did. Yeah, and your recorder was a little bit further away from us, too. Mm-hmm. So that's all I had from downstairs. Let's go to the first floor. Okay. Well, I had the joy of watching our under uh, nope, our night vision, mm-hmm. which correlated with our recording. So really, I'll just go over the recording piece of it because the night vision, I can't hear things as well. We're much further away from the camera. But this is at 9.06 p.m. I think this is the first place that we it was the very investigated. First, yeah. So we were like really, we were really going for it. Because it was the only room where there was no one. Yeah. We were, we were able to, to shut the door, by ourselves. which was kind of nice. And yeah. It's a classroom. So we, we called it the chapel because there were church pews in there. Mm-hmm. We're using cat balls, flashlights, REM pod, and doing the video recording. And Phasma. And Phasma. At about three minutes in, I can hear what I wrote down as a high pitched voice or high pitched noise, but then after listening back, it sounds like a whistle. So I, that was interesting because none of us called it out in real time. Mm-hmm. And this is while I was asking Boyston about opening her door. And then I realized as I'm talking and talking about opening doors, and I meant to ask you guys this. 
when I describe about opening my door, does it not sound like I'm like astro projecting? <laughs> okay. I mean, I feel like you astro projected at <laughs> Garnet. Garnet. <laughs> Hardcore. Because I'm like picturing myself walking back into the building where we are. I didn't know that that's what that was. I think we've talked about it when you guys open your doors before. We've talked about how that happens, but I yeah. didn't know the, I, the term I, for it. I visualize myself, but I don't do it near to the extent that you're able to do it. <sighs> I'll, I'll I'll tell you later how I realized that that's what that was. And it kind of, I was like, oh shit, that's kind of creepy. Okay. Anyways, we had a flashlight. Um, actually, I think we had three set up. Two of them kept going off and on on command, which was pretty cool. Lindsay got on the Phasma box Boydston steals my question. <laughs> it was offensive. <laughs> did you did you say, tell me one thing you see right now? No. She said, what is this place to you? Oh. Mm-hmm. And then the flashlight turned on. Turns out I can ask good questions if I'm the first one to <laughs> ask them. I do remember the flashlight going off because it was right in my eyes. So yeah. I, I kept saying, I'm on Phasma, not able to hear them at all. And I kept going, flashlight, flashlight. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you did. There's lots of walking we can hear very loudly upstairs. If they drop anything, it's like ears bleeding. Mm-hmm. I got that on my recorder too. Somebody drops something and they go, oh, sorry. And I was like, ah, my ears. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, Boyston asks, can you tell me your name? And then I hear what might be a faint whisper, but I can't really tell with all the walking. It's like doing all this loud stomping upstairs. But Lindsay answers, Abe. Oh, yeah. So we thought Abe. we were talking to Abe. <laughs> we had yeah. a George Washington, a Hamilton, and an Abe. I know. The trifecta. Oh, founding fathers. Love them. <laughs> Lindsay says, what's that? And this was after all the stomping and dropping of things. And the flashlight turns on. <laughs> they were annoyed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Lindsay says, you're in a prison. And can you please turn it off? Actually, we said, can you please turn it off? And Lindsay says, make me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say my voice like that? Is that how I sound? <laughs> yes, you do. So you say my voice sounds really weird, too. You when get we like talk an about- accent. <laughs> you get loud, but like monotone. Yes. <laughs> make me. Because all the voices I feel like are monotone. So you maybe that's why I'm mimicking. Runner. <laughs> Mimi. Yep. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Abe. Something just comes over us when we're on the fast podcast. I, I, just, I just repeat back exactly what I hear. I do the same, but I, I feel that. We asked, are you, are you from around here? Lindsay says, yeah. We say, are you a student or were you a student here? And you responded, the 70s. And the flashlight turns on again. You say, what was that? And we say, oh, there's a flashlight coming on. And then right around this time, I can hear a hmm in the recorder. And then a few seconds later, I hear it again a little bit louder while we're talking. And I called it out because I could hear it with my spirit ears. So I was glad. (laughs) And we say, can you tell us your name? Lindsay says, well, to me, Jim. Jim. Okay. Abe and Jim. Abe and Jim. James Madison. That's who it is. Wait for it. Jimmy Madison. Wait for it. Um, there's a large exhale that I, I can hear that they're just exasperated with us. I think at this <laughs> point they're over it. And then we say, is anyone else with you? James. <gasps> James. <laughs> I knew it. A little reunion. Well, to me, James, <laughs> Jim, JM. So we are like, cool, James and Jim. Uh, do you go by Jiminy? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the two of you. <laughs> And then we went on and on and on about Jiminy. Of and course did. Yeah. Um, Lindsay says, are you filming or not? Children were here. Oh. Boring. <laughs> 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 and then you say, oh, and people were dropping again. Things upstairs and my ears are bleeding. And Lindsay says, big one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. They were not that impressed. was the big one. <laughs> um, we ask, what's your favorite? Well, what was your favorite subject? And Boyce and I are going back and forth about how lunch and recess count versus don't count. Of course. This is a heated topic. (laughs) And (laughs) Lindsay says lunch at that time as we're talking about lunch and recess. And I start saying one singular word in German. Just (laughs) one word. (laughs) Let the record show. I... I literally cannot hear them at all. And Lindsay says, you would. And then she starts busting out laughing and took off her headphone and goes, I don't know what that was in response to, but I feel like it was a dig at you guys. And I was like, God damn it. Yes, it was. (laughs) Because the way it came out, I remember that moment because it came out and it was just like, 
you would <laughs> so annoyed <laughs> i was like yes she would what are you are you guys arguing about something dumb lunch and no. recess apparently yes, lunch and recess. <laughs> i am very passionate about this topic thank you but i was like they must be goofing off or doing something we would never <laughs> we were talking about very serious things <laughs> it was sarah talking <laughs> german <laughs> literally just one single word it wasn't a phrase i was talking about apple cake <laughs> and you said you would <laughs> And I, I was like, it. I'm offended. Listen, um, it was Jim, James, or Abe. Jim, James, Jiminy. <laughs> Jim, Jiminy. Jim, Jim, Drew. What's apple cake in German? Apple kuchen. <laughs> that is adorable. I love that. Thank you. I made it up. No, I'm I know kidding. it in it Norwegian. Is. What is it? Apple kuchen. It's very close mm-hmm. to apple kuchen. Also oh, sounds like apple cake. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> and you're welcome. Language with the tipsy ghost. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. If anybody wants to spit out any Norwegian terms or German terms, <laughs> you can have You're a, welcome. I know one person who can speak English, German, and Norwegian. Mm-hmm. You can talk to him anytime, but he'll blow you out of the water. Yeah. He'll, he'll do it. Very intimidating. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, okay. At this point, we kind of stopped investigating, but then we took at least a thousand pictures <laughs> and laughed so hard we were all crying for almost 20 minutes straight. <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> it was very entertaining. <sighs> but I didn't hear anything during that whole time. So they weren't that annoyed with us during it. I mean, okay. the, spirits. the spirits. The people around us may have been, and I apologize. Oh, I, we kept trying to be quiet, but then we'd like review the pictures and it was over. But it was very funny to watch back. We should have so. just stopped after the first one. That was good. <laughs> we had a great time doing that. Okay, but that's what we got in the chapel. And so then we're going upstairs. And upstairs, it's really just two classrooms. Yeah. Um, one classroom to the left has pews, and the classroom to the right has like 50 desks. It, it is a little creepy in there. It did, and I took a very adorable picture of the two of you in your little desks. Yeah. They're small. It was cute. Small little wooden desks. I barely squished in there, but I, I made it. I liked it. It took me back. All right. So I put my recorder in the room to the left with the pews. Yes. And I just left it up there. Other investigations or other teams, I should say, they had various equipment up. One of them had a laser grid up. And they said uh, 15 minutes in that they saw someone or something walking in front of the laser grid. They caught it. And I'm jealous. We've Mm -hmm. never had anything. We've never had a laser grid. (laughs) I know. And this is like. (laughs) We also don't use it that much. That's true. But this is early in the night because it's 15 minutes in. So it's probably like 9 p.m. My favorite thing, though, they had a spirit box going as well, and they got Lady that spit out on the spirit box, and I can hear us <laughs> laughing downstairs during this, and so the team upstairs is like, Lady, is there a lady in the room with us? And then it goes, unholy. <laughs> and they go, where is the unholy lady? And I can hear us laughing. Oh, God. I'm thinking it's us. Turns out it's downstairs. <laughs> All fingers point to us. <laughs> the unholy ladies are us. <laughs> that is my interpretation. Oh, no. The gloved spirit fingers are pointing at us. <laughs> they called us out. <laughs> the glow in the dark spirit yes. fingers. <laughs> um, I did catch a breath right by the recorder. So the recorder I put on like the like the teacher's desk up at the front of the room, you know? Yeah. So I put it up there and I can hear these this team, these guys talking in the background who are doing the spirit box. And then I hear like a breath right by the recorder. That's very loud while they are talking. So it's not them. And it was right after one of the guys was saying something's close by. Because one of their equipment mm. kept beeping and going off. And he's like, something's close by. Something must be there. And then you hear this loud breath. <laughs> um, a few seconds after that, I caught a very faint EVP. I hear Charles, but I don't know. And then about a couple minutes after that, I got another faint EVP saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that. A few minutes after that, someone, another team comes in and they report getting touched. Ooh, jealous. Exactly. That is exactly what I thought. (laughs) She's like, I just got touched. And one of the other girls and the team was like, she's never been touched before. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Sounds like a movie. (laughs) She's never been touched. (laughs) Um, They were reporting feeling very cold up there, which it was chilly, but not like super cold it's like 40s yeah we had jackets and we were fine 40s outside like maybe 50s inside Mm -hmm. i wore sandals (laughs) she did you wear sandals no matter what the weather is (laughs) but i didn't have to put socks on that's true (laughs) um they this other team they had a spirit box going as well and they were talking about childhood games and like heads up seven up and 
tic-tac-toe and things, and they were asking the spirits to play games with them. And I caught a growl right after they asked if they wanted to play. Ooh. They don't want to play. They didn't want to play. Um, and then about 30 minutes after that, something fell. Like, I can hear it falling or it was a bang. But the person who was in the room at the time, like, yells out. And she said that it hit her in the ear. Oh, God. So something fell and it hit her ear. <laughs> I just picture something, like, whizzing by and like, flicking her <laughs> earlobe. Like, <laughs> well, you could hear the bang. And she was like, ow. And they're like, what? She's like, something just fell and hit my ear. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what it could be. And then I was mad that they never like looked and investigated to see what it was. I want to know what it was. Yeah. Um, we get there about like two and a half hours into this recording. And right after we get there, we hear a bang. And I will say we're in the other room. So we're in the room with this like desks in it. There's like an opening door. Like they're adjourning. It's a little pass through. Yeah, a little pass through. And we hear a bang. Could it be someone downstairs? I don't know. At that point, there was nobody else upstairs with us. Um, Sarah reported hearing a laugh, but yeah. then we thought it was downstairs, and I can kind of hear a laugh, and I think it might be people downstairs because it was multiple times. Sarah does the phasma box. Um, <laughs> very well, might I add. <laughs> very well. Where she spits out Aaron yes. pretty quickly. Aaron Burr. <gasps> <sighs> Sir. <laughs> That's who killed Hamilton. Pardon me. Oh. Are you Aaron Burr, so sir? I'm sorry. <laughs> that depends. No, your history. Just kidding. Who's asking? Oh, sure, sir. Please proceed. <laughs> You're right. I think it was him. I don't, came through. I don't want to get in trouble with copyright. <laughs> <laughs> just some words. Would, just a few. Long, how much longer can we keep this going? So anyways, you said Aaron, and then you said, talk to me. And you said, talk to me like three times. Like you kept saying, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Aaron was very excited to talk to somebody. Which at one point I was like, Sarah, are you telling them to talk to you? But no. you didn't respond to me. So I think that was what was coming across. People come upstairs. They go in the other room where my recorder is. Um, and they are talking very plainly about feeling a presence and seeing a presence. I don't know if they had like an SLS camera or what. But they were like, it's sitting right here in this desk like or in this pew. Oh, Let's go creepy. sit by it. Um, somebody did have an SLS there. Okay. So that might be they them. They also had ghost lights going in that room ghost lights were on in there oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> um which i could see the ghost lights from where i was sitting standing yeah. and they weren't ever lighting up when yeah. we were in there um but they were seeing something on the sls some anomaly sarah spits out richard <laughs> several spits times out. she yelled I richard did. like two or three times and then says dick <laughs> That was me, I think, talking. <laughs> oh, that was you talking. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Just because it's a nickname. It would make sense. It yeah. Would. Um, at this point, I have the night vision camera going. And so I go over to the other room just to, like, get some footage. And Sarah tells me uh, to stay over there. And she says, <laughs> they want you to stay over there. And I was like, well, that's rude, but okay. <laughs> nice. Um, and then I just put, Sarah repeatedly yells Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Richard was coming through strong. Richard, it's, just a, it's me, Richard. <laughs> Richard. So it sounds like we got some EVPs. We got some breathing. Yeah, by the recorder, but lots of other people had stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the camera. Oh, when I was doing it upstairs. Yes, but we didn't have it in night vision mode. No, I didn't. I couldn't figure it I out. I know. So, so there's I a button that says IR. You have to press that. I but couldn't figure it out. All so I can see flashlight. is like a foot in front of you. I know. I'm so sorry. It's I okay. tried. So um, I couldn't see anything. So and yeah, I didn't get anything on the videos. The other video that I had was just the, the second part of the chapel. Mm -hmm. So the whole part where we're taking pictures. And we didn't do the night vision downstairs. No. So that's uh, that's all I had. Did a We also went to the cemetery. Yeah. I forgot about that. There is some Blair Witch Project stuff yeah, there over was there. some weird business going on over there so it's like just down the road and hamilton's buried there with george washington and hamilton's brother mm -hmm. is buried there too and all three of them are in the little in the crypt in the crypt <laughs> i don't remember if they said that people got experiences out there we just went out to look at it yeah i think mostly it's just like oh here he is yeah there was a couple of other people buried in the cemetery but i cannot remember who mm -mm. sorry sorry people who are buried there May you rest in peace. <laughs> They're not listening. I almost said you we... You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> they might be. Okay. They followed us home. I almost said that there were werewolves, but I meant coyotes. Werewolves? 
sounds dangerous. Beaver Town? What up? Beaver Town here with the cryptids. <laughs> In Illinois by the Mississippi That's River. What, I'm saying. what else would we see? De- definitely some werewolves out there. I don't know. Mm. Have to look at the map of cryptids. There were some coyotes, and this is a tiny town. It is a one stoplight town. That, that just flashes. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a stoplight. It's, it's just notifying you that there's a four way stop there. <laughs> but yeah. All right. What is you guys' rating for Hamilton? Um, I'm so, I'm tired of you guys giving a. I'm not going to give it a rating because I need to gather more information. That's okay. part of my being more positive this year, <laughs> Lindsay. I'm gonna okay. I'll give it a maybe out of ten. Okay. Oh, okay. What's your maybe out of ten? Maybe it may be haunted. Oh my gosh! I was gonna say I was pleasantly surprised because I it was one of those situations where I didn't really feel much in the moment. I thought I right. heard a few things, but I kind of just counted them and then listening back we caught some so i was pleasantly surprised to hear that there was a few things that we caught on our recorder maybe like a six okay and he did say the very beginning the leader he said that a lot of times you'll feel like you get nothing and then you listen back yeah which we know to be true but like i feel that like especially true to be about schools his Ferrar was kind of the same way and i think it's just because there's really like no aside from the underground railroad railroad rooms <laughs> there's not like a ton of negative and mm-hmm. deaths associated with it so it may just be like people passing through i don't know like residual stuff yeah anything else you'd like to add no you want to go back to the blair witch crypt um yeah i wish i could open it but that's mm. okay it's i feel like that's a crime creep i think it is it yeah. is yeah mm-hmm. well, i don't like to be in trouble so <laughs> no. shouldn't do that shouldn't be opening crypts people <laughs> listening we are just kidding we yeah. are not opening crypts or taking up hoggies this is a good example of not acting on your intrusive thoughts <laughs> yes <laughs> it's just a thought we had to talk it out <laughs> and we've moved along <laughs> success we will not open the crypt <laughs> we are not crypt keepers that is all we got for hamilton primary school in otterville or beaver town beaver town oh o- town oh yeah O town that's where all them they're from, the O Town members. They had like one good hit. <laughs> Cause I want it all. That was it. <laughs> For nothing at all. That was it. I'm sure there was one more. Name another song by O Town. Nope. Don't you dare Google. I'm older than you, okay? <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in this week. You can always find us at thetipsyghost.com with our socials linked from there. Or send us an email at thetipsyghost at gmail.com. Please give us a five-star rating and a great review anywhere you listen to podcasts. We really appreciate it, and it really does help. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We will catch you next week. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.